Adding and working with images in your Weebly page is quite simple. Uh, most of the templates already come with a standard image on the page, which you may like. You may want to change that image or you may want to take it away altogether. So the first thing you can do if, say, you're on a page and you're not particularly keen on the image is to click the image and you'll notice you've got a couple options. One, with the gear, you can very easily change it to a short header, uh, the landing page where the image is sort of off to the side, or then no header at all. So let's just change it to a short header. And that might be enough to get you where you want. Um, if it's not, you can always go in and edit the image. And you can either choose to add an image by uploading it from your computer, searching uh, either professional photos or free photos. I did a search for ladder. Uh, just because I think that the best images in these web pages are metaphoric. Um, this one's sort of interesting, so I'm going to add it to my favorites so that I can access it later on, and I'm also going to select it. You'll see that it drops it in uh, very easily, and then I can drag it if I want, you know, maybe looking more at the tops of the hands, or if I just want to have all the, the fun little hands in there, I'll do that just to, to show you. And then uh, you can click OK, see what it looks like, and then when you're done, save. It's going to give you an option when you choose to save. You can either save it to every single page, so all of the headings across the entire site are going to be changed to this image. You can save it just to this individual page, so if you were talking about reaching and, and you just wanted this type of, of image only on that page, making it unique, you could choose that. Or if you wanted to put it on some pages but not all of the pages. I'm going to save just to this page only to show you that this is my new image here, but if I go back to section one, I've got the original image. Um, I can always open it up if I want to get a taller heading um, and then go back, add image because I saved it in my favorites. It's there, very easy to select, and now I can pull it in. You'll probably also notice here at the top that when you pull in the image, you can also add some text if you wanted to add, um, say, a little heading, you know, you can do that, um, and then with Weebly, it's very easy just to drag and drop. Uh, as soon as you open up that text, you get all these sizing, you get font, you can add shadow, you can add glow, you can do all sorts of fun things. So the key is really uh, make sure that you're always not only looking at what's here in the bottom, but also what's coming up in your banner bar at the top. That adds a little bit more um, interest and I might do something that's a little bit thicker so it stands out. And again, you can always save it, you get those options, and there you go. Now, uh, you may want to add an image to the page itself, uh, not necessarily to the heading page. So let's go back to section one and just pretend that um, this page, you didn't want to have any image at the header, but you wanted to have an image here on the side. What you would do is you'd go into Elements, uh, you can go from the basic, it's also in the um, multimedia, depending on what you want. If you just want a single picture, you can drag that down. If you wanted to do a photo gallery with multiples, um, you could drag that down as well. And the slideshow uh, would go through one at a time. I'm just going to work with the basic image for you. Um, again, I'm going to use that same hand image just to sort of consistency. And what you may notice is it's a little too big. Maybe I want to resize it so I can click it. And you'll see this little red tab right here, and that's how you resize. You want to make it a little bit smaller. And maybe I also, instead of having it in the center of the page, I'd really like to have it start over here on the left-hand side. You can go to Position, click Left, and then um, you've got it set up over here. You can also do some borders if you'd like to do that, advanced um, if you want to add some margins and things like that. Now, what normally happens is that if you set up your image like this, you really want text here. But you realize that if you go to try and drag a text box into that, it's either going to put it above or below the image. So how do you get text and image side by side? And that's where the column comes in. If you wanted to use the column element, you could drag the image here to the left, take your text, drag it into the right, and then you can use the sizer bar and it's going to automatically size the image for you um, if you haven't set it to a, a maximum. Um, if you wanted to shrink it just a little bit to get everything lined up, you can do that. And then very easily, 
you can go in and add your text and now you've got this really great sort of even website um, with an image and some text. Sometimes people want to use the images as uh, a way to link material. Um, there's the link image as you hover. You can also make it so that it's a small image, sort of a thumbnail here, but if they want to open up the full size, um, you, can you can click that so they can see the full image, if, say it was a map or a diagram, um, or if you wanted to add some sort of caption. Um, always go in, you can always delete it, make it go away, and start from scratch. So that's working with images in Weebly.